Hey everyone, Brandon Villarolo here for Tech Republic, and today I want to cover how to uh, how to change your video settings in a Zoom meeting. So you know, hide your own personal video or uh, turn your video on and off during a meeting. So it's pretty simple to do all this sort of stuff. Um, for starters, you can you can control that outside of a meeting. So if you're in the main main page of the Zoom app here, uh, you can go over to settings, click on that. And you'll see all these settings here on the left side. You can click on video and you can tweak all the settings here. You know, you can mirror your video, you can turn on like touch up options so that you look a little smoother. It just does some, some work to clean up your appearance a bit. Uh, you can also in meetings, you know, change how you display participants, you know, uh, turn off your own video before you meet or you enter a meeting, spotlight your video when speaking, etc. all that sort of stuff. So all those things can be tweaked here. Um, they can also be tweaked in a meeting. Uh, I'll show you how to do that as well. So I've actually got a meeting set up here with myself. So I am I am meeting online with myself. You can see me up there in the right-hand corner as well as right here on your screen. So right now I've got it so that I'm pinned. Um, and I've got all the sound muted off because right now I've got two devices that are in the same room. If I unmute the video, it's going to be a mess. So uh, right now I've got myself pinned. So you can pin a video by clicking on it and going like that. And you can see here, I can unpin myself. And if I unpin myself, then the active participant who's speaking will show up. Uh, but since I've got both people muted, it's not gonna pick that up. Uh, regardless, if I wanna hide myself, I can go up here, go to hide self view. And in that case, it'll actually make me disappear from the video. It's still gonna show me as active when talking, but the second the other me would start speaking on uh, the mobile device that I have set up for the meeting as well, uh, it would switch over to that view. I can unhide myself if I go up to this video again, click on there and then show self view and it'll pop me back in right there. Um, it can be a little weird to see yourself or to stare at yourself while you're trying to conduct a meeting. So you can also turn your video on and off down here in the left-hand corner. Click that, it'll stop the video completely. Click it again, it'll start it. And I was showing you that menu a few minutes ago. You can go in here and click on this and it'll bring the video settings menu up again so you can change all that stuff live in the meeting uh, kind of on the fly as well. Um, so the way you turn the video on and off in the meeting, like I showed you by clicking on the menu options here, it changes a little bit depending on the way you're viewing uh, a Zoom meeting. So in this case, it's the normal view where the participants are lined up across the top and the active speaker is, is the one showing on the screen. If I go over here to gallery view, it's gonna show me side by side myself. Um, and in this case, it can be even weirder because then you've got all these faces moving on screen at the same time, including yourself, to turn off your own view in this, come up here, hide self view, and then only the other speakers and participants in the meeting will be visible in this case. It's still me. But if it weren't, it would be whoever else was, was either speaking or, uh, or present in the meeting. You can go here again, click on show self view, and it'll come right back over here, and you're back on the screen. That's it for this uh, Zoom tip. Uh, if you stay tuned for some more, we'll have additional Zoom tips and tricks here uh, as, as time goes forward. So stay tuned to Tech Republic.